You're aware that manifesting works for others, but you're not sure what you're lacking to make it work for you. The most common reason people become stuck while manifesting is that they are unaware of all of the necessary steps to manifest and co-create with the universe. The seven steps to manifesting anything you want, including money, are outlined here. Before we proceed, I would appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my future videos. 1. Get clear on what you want. You can't take actions to make anything happen if you don't know exactly what you want. To manifest something, you must first have a clear idea of what you want. That implies you need to be very detailed about the details, as though your manifestation is custom made for you. Make a list of 20 to 25 items you wish to manifest to get started with this step. Make a list of good traits, don't use the phrase don't, and be clear about what you desire. If you say I want a car, you might get a 1965 El Camino with no engine. I'm looking for a used SUV with less than 30,000 kilometers that's under $15,000, simplifies your search considerably. Side note, as you make your list, allow yourself to want what you want today, while remaining open to changing your mind tomorrow. Self-judgment doesn't help you manifest anything. 2. Ask the Universe once you've compiled your list, it's time to send out a signal to the universe by requesting what you desire. When you're clear on what you want to materialize, the universe can assist you. If you don't ask, it will still try to assist you, but it will make educated guesses about what you really want. Don't take chances with what you get, instead, ask for what you want. Prayer, meditation, visualization, and vision boards are just a few of the methods to ask. Writing a letter to the cosmos is a simple method to ask for what you want. Once a day, ask the universe for what you desire, and your demands will become increasingly evident. 3. Work toward your goals. Manifesting is the art of collaborating with the cosmos to create something new. Working toward your objectives enhances the likelihood of getting what you desire. It's also enjoyable. Make a list of three things you can do today to get closer to your goal. If you're stumped, Google will help you find out what steps to do. Someone has most certainly suffered with the same problem and written about it. Allow yourself to be inspired by the work of others. Start taking action now and keep going until you achieve your goal. 4. Trust the process. It's natural to wonder if manifesting genuinely works while you strive toward your objective. It's possible that you'll become disappointed and frustrated. If you're in the middle of a battle and wondering when things will happen, you're not trusting the process. When you cast doubt on manifestation, you're telling the universe that it doesn't function. The law of attraction helps you stay trapped by delivering you events. You must trust the process in order to manifest. When you're doubting yourself, check yourself and say, every day, I'm coming closer to my goals, the universe is on my side, and it's fantastic. Repeat this statement until you believe it. 5. Receive and acknowledge what you get. The cosmos is always willing to assist you, but it's easy to overlook the signals, especially when they come in unexpected ways. When you begin to recognize and respond to cues from the universe, the universe will reward you with more of what you desire. Writing down the evidence in a diary at the end of the day is an excellent method to begin started with this phase. Make a note of anything that happened to you during the day that brought you closer to your objective. If you're trying to get out of debt and your credit card company calls to work out a better payment plan for you, that's proof. It might also be a Facebook inspiring quote speaking to you. 6. Keep your vibration high. You attract what you send out, according to the law of attraction. You must elevate your frequency in order to attract more of what you desire. Vibrations are like little radio signals that you send out to the universe all the time. Your signal must be tuned to a vibration that is worthy of receiving it, read, stay positive and thankful. All you have to do is enjoy yourself. You may keep your vibration high by spending 10 to 15 minutes a day, at least, doing anything that makes you feel good, such as viewing a YouTube video or meditating.
Remember, if you're in a bad mood, you'll get what you deserve. Keeping a happy attitude is the simplest approach to ensure that wonderful things will happen. 7. Clear your resistance. It's likely that you're refusing what the universe has to offer if you haven't yet created what you want. Resistance manifests itself in the form of doubts, anguish, procrastination, disappointments, worry, anxieties, regrets, and resentment. They're also quite typical. Recognize when you're about to get into a fight and tell yourself to breathe and relax. I'm frustrated again. I'm resisting again. I get it. All I have to do now is breathe, relax, and let it come, it might sound like. Find someone to assist you if you are having trouble letting go of a situation. Manifesting your desires is 100% achievable, but you must follow all of the procedures. Get clear on what you want, ask the universe for it, take action, help the universe make it happen, trust the process, acknowledge what is being sent to you along the way, increase your vibration, clear all resistance. Now I'm waiting for your response. What stages of the manifesting process do you go through on a regular basis? What steps did you overlook? In the comments section below, tell me what you're planning to modify, if anything. As always thank you for watching, see you in my next video.